Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Ross with Stammer.ai. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to push leads into any CRM or any system via the webhook system. So if you go into one of your chatbots, and this can be either any, basically any chatbot in your account or in, in any uh, client account. And if we go into view dashboard, we can now see the new tab for leads. And this will now allow you to create a custom form to collect any values that you want to collect from leads prior to the chat session starting. So for example, if we wanted to collect email, we could have the field of email in there and we can go click, we can click add field. And if we wanted to create our own custom field with any of these different types of variables, we could do that, or we could select one of the, uh, the pre-made dropdowns. And essentially what this is going to do is make it so that way it is either, you know, you can select it to say if it's required or not. And the user, will, if it is required, the user will have to fill in or submit their information uh, and submit it prior to the chat session starting. And so when they submit that information, you can now send all of that data via webhook URL. And so a webhook URL for those that might not be familiar is simply a URL that is created by another platform. So in this example, we're using Go High Level GHL. And the trigger that we're going to be making is actually called inbound webhook. And so what this is going to do is actually generate a URL that we are going to use to send data from Stammer to this webhook, to this URL. And this URL is inside GHL, which will allow us to receive the data that we're sending from Stammer inside of GHL. And so what we can do is we can take this value, we can copy this, and we can go over into the dashboard here for the bot. And we're basically just gonna go in here and paste in that URL and then click save. And then with GHL specifically, it can be kind of tricky. You have to actually get you have to you know, save something. So for example, if you go in here and click request, there's gonna be nothing. So what we have to do is go back into here and click check, uh, click for more details. And then we can click test webhook. And this is gonna actually send some test data over. So if we click results, we can now see that there's some information in here. And this information will allow us to save the trigger, which will actually enable it to be uh, which will actually enable it to be saved. Now you can actually do this as well. So if you go through and test it prior, there will also, there will be data in here prior. So you can see some other tests that we did in here. So you can see here's one where I added in my email prior. So we can click resend. Oh, probably have to submit it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. Doo -doo -doo. We're going to get the link. Copy the link, go into a new tab, submit Ross test two at hello. Okay, so now that data will be populated inside of the variable. So if we go in here, do, do, do. so yeah, we can see Ross test two. So if we go back into here, there should be another value. There we go, Ross test two. And so now we have the values that are uh, custom formatted. And so you wanna make sure, so if you have any, um, if you're doing any sort of custom values or custom questions, you definitely wanna actually submit that data and then use that data to then have be that, you know, that's the test data that you're sending. Otherwise it's only gonna map the email and if you're collecting anything more than the email, you're gonna to need to kind of do, you're gonna to need to test that. So the flow of this is add all of, you know, add your questions and then go through and test it. Like I just did get the share link and go in and submit some data. And then you're gonna actually now use that submitted data to save the trigger, which will then inside GHL be the first step, which is creating and updating the contact. And so now what we can do is search for email and then we're going to go in here and select inbound webhook trigger, lead data, and email. And so if you have any other values that you add in here, that will be updated in here. So we can select email like that. 
and then click Save Trigger. And then click Save. And so now what will happen is every time someone submits the form, that information will automatically be received by GHL.